My name is M. K. Ravindran Pillai. I am the Vice President of the All India Defence Employees Federation as well as a member of the Joint Consultative Missionary of the Ministry of Defence and Leader Staff Head of the JCM DGQA and President of the CKL and our Civilian Employees Union, Bangalore. The Government of India has introduced the system of private participation and uh, I try to make it as Make India and when it is failed they have handed over it to the entire defense products production to the private industry declaring 278 products as non-core items. This has resulted reduction in the workload of the ordnance factories and the number of employees are going to be jobless. They will be declared as surplus and the families will suffer. The same way there are small scale industries which are depending on this ordnance factories, their industries also lose jobs as well as the industry will be closed down. This is very dangerous situation because the entire defense production which is handed over to the private, the quality of the products, what the industry is going to give it to the Indian Army. We have no confidence in that. If it fails in the field, it is going to take the life of our Javats. Hence, taking into the security of the nation and the life of the Javans, we feel these core items should not be given to the private. It should be with the ordnance factories. We are having 43 ordnance factories. The ordnance factories are not making profits. They are working for the nation. But the private manufacturers, their interest is to make profits. So there is a difference. Hence, we, the All India Defence Employees Federation, urge the government to stop the privatization and the job which ordnance factory is capable of doing it should be given to them. Previous defense ministers taken a decision not to corporatize the ordnance factories and when the NDS government came, Mr. Parikar, he also given the same, taken the same decision and he said the production cost will be increased to 20,000 crores for the ordnance factories. But the moment Parikar left, the present defense minister has brought it down to 11,700 crores. That means the entire ordnance factory is going to suffer. People will become jobless and what is the future of the ordnance factories? We are worried about it. That is how we are agitating on that issue. Other than this, You must be knowing that government has opened a corridor, different industries corridor in UP, in Aligarh, and the Prime Minister had inaugurated it. Lakhs crores of rupees are going to be invested by the Indian manufacturers, corporate bodies, 
as well as the foreign investors. The entire defense production will be given to them. Now, number two, another corridor they have inaugurated three days back by the Honorable Defense Minister. That is also going to affect very seriously the defense public sector and the ordnance factories. Since the minister has told that the PSUs, whatever their fund available, also for peace, to be invested in this corridor defense industry and you have to work with them. Bar the Dynamics Limited, Bar the Electronics Limited, uh, Bar the Heavy Vehicles Limited, Alpha Designs, like that many private industries and the government uh, public sectors are involved. You invest there and work in that direction. So this is also a very dangerous situation. So workers have left with no other alternative than to agitate from that. That is the number one. As the number two is concerned, whoever may be the manufacturer, whether it is ordnance factory, whether it is a defense public sector, or a private industry, the quality of the product was tested by the DGQA organization. DGK has got hundreds of years of record specifications, everything. And a product, when it is manufactured from the uh, initial stage to the last minute, they know how to repair it, maintain it, all that. Cradle to the last death, this one we call it. They have the experience of dealing with that. But now the government has decided, instead of that, it, this also should be given to the TPI, they call it as third party inspection. That means the DGK also will be there, but a private manufacturer, a corporate body or whoever it is, they will go to the private person who can give the certificate, qualifying certificate, quality assurance certificate, and he, the person who is getting that certificate, an industrialist, he will make the items, different products, and again, give with that certificate, go to the army units or defense ministry to get the order from the ordnance depots and other agencies who require army. And without any inspection, they will clear the items. This is our apprehension. So that is also dangerous. And then this organization, DGQ organization, will shrink. This had 33,000 people about 15 years back. Now it has come down to 9,000. The one respectable uh, officer, Secretary DP, no, no, she said DGK is not going to shrink. He will function with higher responsibilities. Higher responsibilities with less manpower. Reduction in manpower. Because today in the Ministry of Defense itself, there are over 2 lakhs vacancies are there, unfilled. Even in the DGQA, 2019 and 20, hundreds of people are going to retire. And if the government is not going to fill up that post, this organization will be closed down. This is another apprehension we have got. The department should have discussed these issues with the 
federation leaders who are the stakeholders and without that consultation they have gone ahead with this their programs are vitally the trade unions are also stakeholders in the development of the nation and they should have been consulted the change of working system the reduction in the manpower and how we are going to have the quality assurance for the private agencies as well as the government agencies nothing one day they have issued an order they said yes this will be like this only this is the decision of the government so we are helpless this is another issue which agitates all of us another aspect is about the drdo drdo 56 laboratories they invent the research and develop a products which is required for the army with the latest technology they make it that also now the private participation has engaged in that the scientists are taken on hire and fire method no permanent appointment of the scientists they have been taken for one or two years and then they say you can go what will happen is a person in a private uh, participation he comes in he can take away any documents from the drdo and give it to the terrorists or isis because he has no commitment to the organization he comes for a few days take his salary and go along with this documents this is also another dangerous situation which we don't want all other things are okay but this situation our secret defense secrets are likely to be uh, leaked out to the foreign countries this also we are worried about it then the question is about the nps new pension scheme the people who are employed after 2004 they have been told they should invest 10% of their pay for the new pension scheme recently government announced 14% that they will invest fine but this 24% of the money under whose control they are investing this money in the share markets is there any guarantee the share market will sustain and this money will come back this is also another point which worries all of us because a government employee when he retires and go home he has got something in his hand to live for the the living period or if he dies his family get the pension the wife dies the children who are unmarried daughters they will get the pension if the daughter is married and uh, with a family problem there is a divorce the divorced girl girl also get the pension if there is a physically handicapped child that child also get the pension all these facilities have been withdrawn and they said no guarantee of the pension the federations we have asked at least give us 50% guarantee that they will get the pension 50% that also government has not accepted it then what is to be done the we expect the media to bring it to the notice of the public so that they should know what this government is doing whatever promises 
Mr. Narendra Modi, our Honorable Prime Minister, made in 2014. I think he has forgotten. And uh, taking the country in a totally different direction, selling everything to the foreign investors and foreign manufacturers, making our people to suffer. 